This is Mr. Van Kaplan. Today we're going to look at making a keychain that you're going to be able to print on a 3D printer. So I want you to start in a standard IN apart file. Okay, and you want to pick your Start Your 2D Sketch. Choose the XY plane, which you've been working out of most of the time. And I'm going to make a rectangle shape. Uh, you can do a circle or a triangle. We'll look at that later. And I'm going to give you some dimensions while we do this. Do not make it bigger because this is about the right size. And with our 3D printer, it works really well. You don't want it too big because it won't fit on the printing table. So we want it 2 inches. by one inch. Okay. Um, this is a rectangle obviously which you've made plenty of times. I like to have a smooth edge so I'm going to go ahead and add fillets while it's in 2D. If you want to do it to just one side or one corner you know you, you can get kind of make it your own. Okay so we've got our basic 2D shape. The next thing I'm going to do is extrude it so I'm going to right click finish 2D sketch extrude the shape. It was a rectangle. Let's make that 2 sixteenths of an inch thick. Okay, and Inventor will do math, so you can put that fraction in. Hit OK and it does it. Okay, so now we want to work on this front. So we want to right click, new sketch. If it's going to be a keychain, obviously we've got to find some way to put it on our key ring. So we're going to put a circle in here. I would hover over it, find that midpoint, then that's one less dimension you have to make. Uh, when it turns green, that's the center of that line. Okay, I'm going to drag that out. Dimension this circle 4 sixteenths. Okay, and please use this dimension. I've, in the past I've made them. They're too small. Okay, and we know 4 sixteenths is a quarter of an inch as well. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to have to move it. All you have to do is drag that point from the center point. Okay, and now unfortunately I have messed up my dimensions. So I want to see these lines. I'm going to click Project Geometry. Turn some yellow on your screen, it may be a different color, which is okay. Okay, our, our, our rectangle is two inches tall, or one inch tall, I'm sorry. So half of one inch is obviously 0.5. Okay, and then from this side, you want to get it pretty close because I've made them before and couldn't get the key ring on there because it was too far away. So let's dimension this. I'm going to say 0.175. Let's see how that looks. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm done with this sketch. Right click, finish 2D sketch. The next thing we want to do, we're going to do another extrusion of this circle. But you want to do, cut it into it. Uh, it says distance. Go ahead and just change it to all. That makes sure it cuts through the whole circle or through the whole rectangle. So now we've got a circle there. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to put the text on it. So another new sketch. We want to put our text. And click and hold. Okay. I'm going to put my favorite college football team and this weekend they got a win over Kentucky so let's see on their helmet they have a script font so I'm going to try that and see how that looks eh, not really like that and I know some of you have had some issues with your size and things you have to highlight the text before you go in here and change It's about the best looking one. Okay, so it's one inch tall. I'm going to try and make it 
three quarters of an inch tall and see how that looks. It might be too big, and it is. Okay, so that happens. What you want to do, you've already put your text in, just double click it. You do have to highlight it again, unfortunately. Let's see how 0.5 looks. Still a little too big. Try 0.45. I don't think I highlighted it. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to stick with that. Okay. Um, I would like to move it down a little bit. And you can just kind of click and drag it. So now this is done. Um, right click, finish 2D sketch. And now we're going to use the emboss feature. You have to switch. You may be on sweep, loft, coil. Probably on loft is the last lesson you all have done. Um, choose your text. Now, there's two ways you can make it extrude from the face or you can make it go into it. Uh, that's your preference. I'm going to make mine stick out. I'm going to make it stick out 1 16th. Okay, and you can see that is raised up. Uh, it is gray right now. For our filament colors, we have pink, blue, black, red, and orange. I'm going to make this orange since it is for the Florida Gators. And now you can kind of see our finished product. Okay. If you look at the front, it's kind of hard to see that text, so you always want to hit your home button. Uh, make sure you use the X and Y plane so your text will go left or right. If you use a different plane, your text may go up and down, and that makes it difficult to uh, kind of rotate it how you want it. So this was a rectangular shape. In just a second I'm going to show you how to uh, make a circular shape. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make one a different shape. This one's going to be shaped like a circle. If you want to make a triangle as well, you can do that. You know, kind of make it unique and make it your own. Again, we want to use the XY plane. Anytime you're using circles, it's a good idea to start at the origin. Okay. We want to dimension that to two inches. Okay, it looks really big, but then when you zoom it in, it's fine. Um, you're going to have to make a, somewhere where the chain to hook on to your key ring. You can make it here, this corner. Um, I would just make a circle. I think in the video I said four sixteenths, so a quarter of an inch. Okay. Now I'm going to move that a little bit. Let's see. Turn that over. I'm just not liking that, is it? Okay. Let's make that again. That's going to be the center of the circle. Make it stand out. Dimension. Quarter of an inch. See if it'll let me move it now. Okay. Um, and then you want to use your trim tool. You've done that back in lesson three, I believe. Okay. So now we've got this semi, this circle with the hoop on the top we'll call it. <coughs> Again you want to extrude it the same thing two sixteenths. Okay. Uh, now obviously you're going to have to go and make another hole in there. Okay. And if you click down and hold on your browser or on your trackball it'll let you pan that way. dimension this 